Right, so today let's delve into a potential leak regarding the design of the Apple Watch Series 7 and the fact we could see thinner bezels and a much larger display. We also have some information regarding a new Apple Watch SE2 and a new Apple Watch Explorer Edition that could launch within the next year or so. And so let's delve into all of this, but first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so beginning with the potential leak regarding the Apple Watch Series 7, the information comes from our favorite cryptic tweeter, Mr. Love to Dream. And obviously, as per tradition, the leak is very vague. And so, yes, this is my interpretation. But let me know what you guys think about this leak in the comments below. But anyways, the tweet literally says, one millimeter space, one millimeter. That's literally it. And so, yes, we have no idea if he's referring to the Apple Watch. What makes me think it's about the Apple Watch is the fact Mark Gurman did say the bezels were shrinking on the Apple Watch Series 7, and most of the replies to this tweet also suggest it's the Apple Watch. And so, yes, I'm inclined to believe that Love to Dream is referring to the Apple Watch. Now, of course, at this point, you may be wondering, what does this tell us about the new Apple Watch? Well, I have two theories regarding this. Number one, which isn't so likely, we could see a one millimeter bezel with the next Apple Watch Series 7. Now, this could be pretty incredible because this could mean a 30% reduction with the bezels, and so a 30% larger display with the Series 7, which is a gigantic improvement. But that's also why I think it's pretty unlikely because I very much doubt Apple's going to give us such a massive year-over-year -year upgrade with the bezels. And also, I'm pretty sure it's going to be hard for Apple to get the bezels that thin with the curved glass that Apple uses with the Apple Watch, since I'm assuming that bending OLED around those curves is going to be technically very challenging and also could affect the durability. And so that brings me on to my second theory, which I think is way more likely, and that is a one millimeter upgrade with the Apple Watch sizes. And so with the Series 7, we could see a 41 and 45 millimeter casing. Now, I do think these are more realistic upgrades to expect with the Apple Watch Series 7, because of course, in the past, when the Apple Watch got a major redesign with the Apple Watch Series 4, we did see slightly larger casings, and so I do expect the same with the Apple Watch Series 7. Also, do note, Love to Dream does say one millimeter twice in this tweet, and I doubt that's a mistake, and so yes, I think he's referring to both sizes of the Apple Watch and how they should be getting slightly larger. So yeah, that's basically my interpretation of this tweet, but again, let me know in the comments below, do you have any other theories as to what this tweet could mean? And finally, I want to mention a tidbit I forgot to mention in a previous video, and that is, Mark Gurman did say that in 2022, we could see a new Apple Watch SE 2 and a rugged version of the Apple Watch called the Explorer Edition. Now, it is pretty interesting that Gurman thinks we could see a new SE this soon, because I was thinking that much like the iPhone SE lineup, the current Apple Watch SE would stay in the lineup as the base Apple Watch, for a few years and then eventually it gets the upgrade to the newer design that will be introduced with the Apple Watch Series 7. But of course Mark Gurman is the reliable leaker, not me, so yeah, to my surprise we are seeing this SE though we have no details about it. I'm assuming it should get a faster processor and a new design. As for the rugged version of the Apple Watch, I don't understand why we need this because you can always buy a case for your Apple Watch that makes it rugged. And of course, do remember that unlike the case, this will be more expensive than a regular Apple Watch. And also you'll be stuck with a bulkier version of the Apple Watch 24 seven. So even when you don't need the rugged design, you're gonna be stuck with that bulky watch and that's gonna be a pain. Whereas of course, with a rugged case, you can just take it off when you're done doing sporty things. And so yes, I do still think a rugged case would be a way better buy. But let me know in the comments below, would you buy a rugged version of the Apple Watch? Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the icon above about details regarding the M1X MacBook Pro. And on that note, 
I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.